Hello everybody, I'm back again. So this is my second take. Um, I got screwy when I was in the middle of trying to do the tutorial. And um, so yeah, let's see if I can start over. <laughs> so I apologize guys. Well, you guys didn't even see that, but anyways. So I was trying to make, uh, duplicate this one. Um, but um, well, what I did is I just had explained how I put the, the envelopes like for this one, which is the one with the flappy and then you got the back pocket. It's just, I shouldn't show that address, huh? But it's just a, a you know, the an envelope. Let's do it this way. And I took the flap off so I can have this opening here. Which, by the way, I need to glue this. And then, um, you know, you go ahead and fold the pocket to wherever wherever you want so I just chose to do it here I don't know how much it is it's what like about three and so I just fold it in and like I said I take this flap off so I can have my little opening here for my little tag now on this one I decided to do a flap at the top just cuz <laughs> no particular reason I just thought I would uh, you know this is this here so I thought I would add a little flap just to cover I'm not sure but that's what I'm looking at the only thing I am seeing that like here I added a button it's gonna be bulky so there shouldn't be a button under that let's see oh it's fine okay never mind take that back <laughs> um, so yeah this is the only difference but that's all you do just you know fold the envelope up to size and then this, I just went ahead and added um, for the original one here. This is an actual book page. Here I got this in junk mail, which was part of this, this card here. I just cut it in, in half and made this. And then I just used some, um, some of this uh, fabric. I, somebody told me what it is. I can't think of it at the moment, but you can use any kind of fabric just to you know make your little hinge and then um, I was in the process of you know decorating it when yeah it just came about <laughs> so that was this one but before we continue that I wanted to show you the on this one again it's just an envelope that uh, you know that comes in the mail just cut that little um, flap off so we can have these little openings and so this just folds I think it was about an inch and a half or inch and a quarter to uh, you know have your little insert which is this one here this little so and then you know you add your nice pretty paper on the bottom and then you seal it and yeah I put your little notepad here and then your your little tuck here and then it just closes and there is your little for your little tag and then the one in the back right there so yeah it's it's really no no um no big deal to them you know you just whatever size a little flap you want the pocket like i said this is a, a inch and a quarter and then this one you bring it all the way to the end of wherever you decide to do the flap and that's it you start decorating from there and you know you get it all queued up <laughs> So that was that one. This one, again, and same envelope. I just cut it into, I mean, cut it. Folded it into, um, you know, three. And that's it. And you just make sure these openings are on the outside so you can have your little, your little taggies. So that would be the back. You just decorate it and add your little taggies in there. I did do a stitch on this side of the not on the fold but close enough to the fold also on this side and just that's it and then you would stitch just from this lip here all the way down just to make sure your tags don't move around and then on the other side you would just do your little little tuck here I just added this piece to use as a tuck a uh, little notepad in the center and then in one of these little collage uh, uh, snippet thingies right there and then you just insert your stuff 
but yeah they're very simple I mean um, that's pretty much was what was to this now I was on the process of, of um, trying to decorate this with you guys and I was saying that I don't know if I will you know be able to decorate all of them but uh, maybe if I map them we will have um, maybe we could try to do another video to um, what do you call it to finish it the rest this I don't remember whose paper this is but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this if anybody needs to know or wants to know I should say let me know and I'll look it up I've had this paper for a while okay so that's gonna go there do I really want that corner there <laughs> well if I put it here it still shows a little bit oh, that's okay okay so then wait but it's gonna cut my rows never mind so we'll bring it down here I hope you guys are all doing good I don't know if I asked that already because I I know I said it in the other video <laughs> and I'm uh, okay so then um, I guess I didn't do a good cut there and then just um, distress it which uh, as you can see the envelope is um, nicely um, copy dyed you really don't need it but I'm probably going to do the edges so that one will just go there oops and let's grab our tacky glue so I was saying too in the other video that um, yesterday I was preparing to do this tutorial and then another idea came up to my head so what happened I put this aside and I did it but I did record myself doing it and uh, just in case you know it did turn out to the way I envisioned it <laughs> and uh, you know a video would be made already so I did I recorded it and I love the way it came out although I wasn't able to fit in putting it together and decorating the whole thing but I did say on the video that I was going to share on this video the the new envelope uh, thingy I made oh you know what I forgot one thing I was supposed to put glue on the envelope because this little flap was opening I was coming oops it was coming um, undone there so yeah guys I that's why I didn't put this video up yesterday I ended up doing another video but I didn't want to put it up until you guys saw the this video <laughs> And then it got late, you know, I started late, so it was already too late. Had to get the kids to bed for school, so I wasn't able to continue. <sighs> Take a sip of my tea real quick. So that's that there, which my rolls is going to get covered, but that's okay. And then on this side, I definitely want to cover the inside to especially hide that um, address. So, I'm thinking, I don't think this, no, that was not big enough, so we'll use this other piece here. So I'm going to turn this flap down. And actually, I don't think I need the whole thing to the bottom. So I'm going to say, sorry if I put my head on, on um, the camera, guys. So this goes here, so I'm going to need it about there. And if I didn't cut it straight, that's okay. But I've been um, 
I'm starting to think that maybe I have the flu and not my uh, actually allergy slash flu. I think it's my allergies and then I think it's the flu. I told my husband, I go, that AC is killing me. And uh, where we sleep, the, the, the AC hits like right in our head pretty much. I've tried moving the, the little thingy on the top. It, it doesn't help, it still hits. And you know, we rearranged the room because I work inside my bedroom. <laughs> I don't have a craft room here. Anyways, um, you know, so we moved it and that's where our head hits now. And the other day, my husband wakes up with an ear infection or ear ache. And I woke up all congested, my throat scratchy, and I told him, I think it's this freaking AC. So I told him, what we're going to do now, it's we're going to close the bed in our room, but we'll leave the bathroom door open and the, you know, hallway door open, and we can get the AC from there. <laughs> I go, because, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. I don't like being sick. And he said, yeah, he says, I think that's why my ear's hurting. I said, yeah, that air, you know, I mean, it's sad that right now it's so hot. We need the AC. So last night he did leave it off. He left it on till we went to bed. And then uh, he, he turned it off. And actually we went through the whole night good, no problem. But, you know, as soon as, what, 12 o'clock hit, we had to turn it on because, yeah, it was already getting hot. But the temperatures have been going down. And now we can glue this down. The temperatures have been going down, so thank God for that. Um, it's not as hot as it was. So, yeah. But, yeah. That's what's going on, guys. So I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's my allergies or I came down with something, but it's not the coronavirus, so don't worry. <laughs> it's not that. Um, and then on this flap, I kind of like that image, but I mean, I plan to put some pictures on it, so it's going to get covered. I have this one too. That's the little... Yeah, I think I'm going to do this little guy. Ah, let's use the ruler. And then I was saying too in the video that I went to Joanne's today because today um, was the last day to uh, one of their sales. And they had the this glue for $9.99. You know, this is $15. They had it for $9.99 plus you could use your 20% coupon. So I didn't know. <laughs> and when I noticed it, I saw that today was the last day. I'm like, I need to go. Because whatever's in that other bottle I used, that's it. This. This is all I have. So I went in there and grabbed two of them. So that was awesome. But yeah, I think, uh, I think today was the last day for that. The only thing is we got that green color that I don't like. Now, if I distress it, I should have just covered the whole card of this one. For talking, I'm not paying attention, but let's see if we distress it, if it looks a little, a little better. This one needs to be I don't know. What do you guys think about that green? It's not making me happy. I mean it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good either. <laughs> Huh. I mean, it does. It, it looks better now that it's distressed. What do I want to do? Do I want to just cover the whole thing? Because this, I could always add it down here. 
and see that has white. I just have to distress here. And then um, yeah, I'll probably do that and then cover the whole green area over there. I mean, it goes, it's got green. It's like a nature theme, so it doesn't look bad. What do you guys think? You guys think we should leave it? I'm hearing some of you guys say yes, and others say no, cover it. <laughs> uh, what do we do? Okay, over here, you guys win. The ones that said green win. I do like it at the front, this little um, uh, dragonfly. It does look pretty. So now we gotta mat this side, and I'm thinking this one here. And we're gonna have to figure out what to put down here because this flap is a new flap that's not in our other one so in this one we did this but we do need this side too okay I'm gonna go and put this here turn it this way this piece how are we doing in time okay we're doing good so hopefully we could mat all three of them and then we'll make another video just you know making it all cute and pretty so that would go there Can't wait to show you guys that new idea that I came up with for envelopes again. I just, I just love it. I hope you guys love it too. Oh, a little more down there. Yeah, and that one's already decorated and all prettied up. Really cute. <clears throat> okay, so that's done. We just need to figure something out here. See, it fits perfectly. From there to there. Yeah. Okay, so now do we need to... I have this little piece here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in that little part. You can put a little bit of a, like a little collage of a base. I definitely want that there.
That's my son. I'm sure you guys heard him. Apologize for that. Okay, so that is done on that side. And so let's come back over here and we need to figure out what to put on this side. Uh, would this paper fit? It's like yes and no. And actually it's not even wide enough, but it doesn't look bad, but 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 because I don't think I have any more of that other paper. There was only a couple of sheets that I had left. Let's see. Yeah, nope, that's it. Okay, so we are going to use some of this. It's definitely going to get covered up anyways, but we'll, we'll use this one so I don't have to print. I don't feel like printing right now. Oops, I think I moved. There. Stress this real quick. Definitely want this to look grungy. Okay, so this one. Okay, so we have that one matted it already. So let's move to the next. Where are we in time? We're good, we're good. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do this one now. <coughs> Whoops. So I used a the same color on all of them. Let me close my glue real quick and grab some paper. Now for this one, I am thinking... So I went to um, Office Depot to print some stuff, and I wanted to print this digi kit again from the B that I made not too long ago on for you guys, because I wanted to make another one. I don't know if it was my mistake or Office Depot's mistake, but I ended up getting two sets. So I figured, okay, so I have one to play with. <laughs> or two to play with, I should say. So for this one, let's see, what do we like? That looks nice and they're not, that's nice too. That's nice. I really like this kit. So yeah, I don't know if it was my fault or their fault, but. Um, Thinking what about that one? Okay, 
Yeah, okay. I'm going to go for that one. Because eventually I'm going to make it another bee journal. But, well, now I can make two, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. I can make two now. So now we need to cut. So this one, I'm going to say from there. This one. I might have left that one a little too big, but not sure. Okay. So then this one goes here, so there to there. So that's one, and then this one is in there. Yeah, I think this one was, this one was for here. Well, they should be all the same size. Okay, so that goes there, and that goes there. So let's turn that around. Let me just distress the ends real quick. Don't I have that backwards? No. Goes like this. Yeah, I have it right. Okay, so now let's glue those. And I will distress the envelope at the end. Or the edges of the envelope at the end. Oops, and that goes like this, so there. And 
this one. I don't know what my what I did with the the little card. Oh, never mind. Last night I couldn't find it, but then it was already very late. I couldn't sleep. I went to bed at seven in the morning, guys. That's how bad it was last night. I don't know. If it's my anxiety issues or what, but it's not cool. I hate it. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to do this side. Now this side, the whole paper is not going to really show as much. So I'm thinking of using this one. Because I want it kind of a nature-y, nature -y kind but yeah I don't know what it is that I can't sleep I don't feel like anything is bugging me I'm going to leave that there I'll just start this way oh uh, yeah this way So yeah, I don't know what it is that's keeping me up, guys, but tonight I plan to drink one of my sleepy teas and um, shower and just sh after I shower, shower myself with uh, some lavender lotion. And then turn my little diffuser and um, hope and pray that it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. My eyes feel so heavy, but I won't go to sleep. Then sometimes I get my restless legs too. I do know that's from anxiety, but lately I've been okay with that oh shoot that didn't come out too well okay so then now we're cutting this way I was thinking about folding this this envelope the other way so that I can use the windows but then I changed my mind only because I want this little lip here you know to stick my tags in they won't stick out so yeah but I did put a uh, got an envelope and folded it to do that who knows maybe I'll, I'll still do it how it comes out okay we're still good in time okay so 
now. sure I don't put it backwards. Uh-oh. Bring it down a little bit right there. Then this one's next. This one. Where does this one go? It was like this. Oh, I wasn't sure. Okay, guys, so we have that ready. So now I'm just going to distress the edges. And then we'll start matting the other one. And then next video, we will decorate. We get to do the fun stuff. So I hope you guys are doing some with me. That'd be awesome. It's always fun to craft with other people. I like it when people say that we had coffee together or, you know, we were crafting together. I was watching you while I was crafting. It's like, I don't know. That's just awesome for me. <laughs> I know I'm a weirdo. Okay, here I could see some white, but I can't distress it because that plastic thing is in there. Oh, let me see. Maybe, maybe I can. I'm going to have to clean that, but let's see, it doesn't look so, so, uh, whoops, I just tore right there. We'll have to fix that. But, okay, that's done. You need to come and do something here. Wait a minute. I need to get the tip of this paper here. Pop that there. And here, I'm going to have to probably use a piece of, of a, a lace or something when I decorate. So now the only thing that's left here to do is stitch here and stitch here but I'm not going to do that I'll leave this as is for now and we're going to start matting this one <clears throat> that way uh, we could um, 
have everything ready for the decorating part. So, for this one, move that over there. What kind of paper do we want to use? Do we want to do the same thing? Or do we want to use something different? Huh. No, I want to do something different. I think I saw... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me... <coughs> Excuse me. This is an older... Did you get from Shabby Dabby Duda? It looks like I did never used it, so I'm thinking I should probably use that one. Okay, that's where the pages start. Maybe. That's pretty too. Oh my god, my son is throwing stuff on my door. CJ! <clears throat> I'm recording! I just want mommy to get crazy. Okay, so for this one on the inside, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> that little boy is hyper. I guess this, um, you know, staying uh, on lockdown is not cool. And he's just very, um, going crazy. Sometimes he tells me I'm bored. I'm like, go clean the bathroom, go wash the dishes, go. He's <laughs> like, that's not fun. But he does. He's actually gone and washed dishes on his own the other day. Can I wash the bathroom? I'm like, what? Who are you? And what did you do my do to my son? So yeah. Shoot, I can't see the Okay, it's right there. This is why I like to distress it so I could see it better. I think there. And then this one here. doesn't really matter because the flap's going to cover it. So now this way. Okay. Okay, goes like that. Make sure I got it the right way.
Okay, so that one. Good thing about using wet glue. If it goes down a little crooked, you can still fix it. Okay, so I'm going to distress <clears throat> this side real quick. You can see the window there. <laughs> so then this is going to go there. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue, not that, not that it matters, just, you know, because right here on this little part it did cut there, so glue that down. And then now just your glue on the edge. As much as I love to sew, you can't sew on this one because you would close the pocket up there. So yeah, I need to clean my board, look at that. <clears throat> so now we need to do this side. OMG. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not supposed to say OMG. Um, what do we want to use now I got to keep in mind we're going to cover it so a lot of it is not going to show I kind of like that but let's do it I don't know why I never made a journal with this paper. It's beautiful. But sometimes, at least with me, I print stuff and then I end up putting them in a spot where you end up putting other stuff on top and on top until it eventually disappears and you forget about it. So yeah I do that a lot so I'm trying to be more organized trying shoot where's my crease <laughs> right there okay I'm recording I'm recording a video papas I forgot. Okay, that's good. And then on this side, I kind of want the face. Although, like I said, I'm probably going to end up cutting it off. I mean, covered it, cutting it, covering it. But I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So there. To there, I think that's the crease. Make sure. Okay.
this one from there. Oops. Okay, so now distress these babies. Okay, so this one goes over here. This one. Okay, guys, I think we are done matting our, our little envelopes. So now I just have to distress it. stained it, huh? I guess I should just continue it. Okay, so now on this one, again, I'm going to stitch only one side. You don't need to do both. So I'm probably going to stitch this, this side of the pocket just really close to make sure these pockets don't, you know. Did I do that? Yeah, I did that here. Oh, I did it on the opposite one. But yeah, so that's all I need to do. And then we will do our our decorating. Because yeah, I'm at, I'm at 54 minutes. Yeah, there's definitely no time to um, decorate. So, um, oh, I forgot that part. Okay, I'll do that separately then. So I'm going to pop these here. What did I do with the other one? Oh, over here. <laughs> so we got our bases done. So I am going to stitch them, get my ephemera ready, and then on the next video we will be decorating this. Also, before I let you guys go, I said I was going to show you guys the... Uh, the new pocket idea that I made. So after this video and the next video of, of ah, who knows, I'll upload it since after this video I will upload it. But this is the other one. This is also an envelope and I love, love, love the way it turned out. Um, you could glue this down to a page in a journal. 
I was working on this book yesterday too. Well, this book's too small, but you can glue it down, you know, put a, make it as a little tuck, or glue it down in the cover of a journal, or you can just leave it as is and, uh, you know, gift it to somebody. I, I just think they're so stinking adorable. I'm even thinking of doing like a file folder like uh, Girl on the Ridge does. And just make a bunch of these, you know, different little types of pockets and stuff. And just, you know, pop them in there and, and decorate the um, file folder. I think that would be so much fun. So, let's go in. On the original, in the video, I wanted to do that little circle, you know, where you tie the string. But I thought about it too late. I had already done too much. I couldn't pop the hole. So, I ended up adding this lace glued it down and then just add this awesome image some lace and I love I love the way it turned out and so here's one of my little um, collage thingies I did a tutorial on I just popped her a little bit on the side so that this um, seam binding wouldn't cover her face so she's just glued half kind of tilted I added some of this vintage lace on the back and then it opens like this it sticks out a little bit, but that's fine. I just did a little bit of collaging there. And then you got a cute little tag here. And here I used um, Shabby Dabby Doodah's, um, one of her digi kits. It's uh, an older digi kit. And then it opens down like this. Again, a little bit of collaging there. I didn't get a close up. Then here I just added notes because this is a little booklet that you can write your notes, journal. And then it opens and you have another cute little pocket hiding in the back. And I just have one of these little journaling tags. <clears throat> I didn't want to put too much down here because I didn't want to make it bulky. Which it actually wasn't too bad. I thought it was, but no, it works fine. And then on the side here, I did my stitching so I can have my pockets. So here we have a large journaling card. And then I just stamped on the back. And that just pops there for additional journaling. And then I didn't show the back of this tag. I did a little, a little bit of stamping on the back too. And then that text there. And then this one on the bottom again. A little bit of stamping on the back. And I didn't um, punch a hole or anything because I'm not sure. I didn't want it to like, you know, I don't know how it would look with it sticking out. I didn't think it would look good so I didn't add that but yeah this is it's so cute I love making it I had fun making it and uh, I definitely want to make more because they were fun and I want to use the closure I was thinking about on the beginning so I'm definitely gonna make another one with that but then I do like the little collage there I just think it's it looks really cute and then, you know, you have that on the back. But like I said, if you glue it down to a journal, don't worry about this side. It'll just glue down. But yeah, it's really cute. I love it. Um, so let me know what you guys think. But as soon as this video is up, I will upload the one for this one. So that tutorial is already made. So anyways, that's all for today. You guys um, take care. I will see you guys on my next video to decorate our little bits and pieces. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.